Um, so I'm making a, a buttered cabbage tonight. So I'm gonna cut off this little cabbage here and take it inside. Uh, maybe you'd like to see my cutting technique as well. Just using a simple vegetable blade. Yeah. It's like, it's like cutting through butter. It's really hard to cut something with um, just one hand. But I got it. Here she is. Cabbage. Hopefully this is quite a few cups worth. Looks like I have to do a lot of washing. But hopefully it should make a nice enough. The rest of the cabbage. Just go to the chickens. Which are over there. So when I get the chance, I'll take the rest of these leaves and Check them over the fence of the cabbage to the chickens. Yeah, I'm just gonna wash all the leaves and then I'll um, dice them up. So, what? It's all uh, washed now, so I'm gonna cut it up. Time for a time lapse video. Um, I'm going to be using a pressure cooker and I'm recommended to use six cups of cabbage for it, but I'm going to be using all the cabbage, so I'll just make it um, proportioned or ratioed. So if there's six cups and it ends up being like 12, then I use twice the water and twice the butter, um, so it all works out. So six should be six cups of cabbage one, two cups of chicken broth. I'm using chicken cubes, vegetable, chicken stock, um, half a cup of butter, and that's about it really, really basic. Uh, pizza ended up being uh, nine cups of cabbage. I'm gonna have one, two, three, um, cubes of chicken stock to 750 mils of water. I didn't um, add boiling water to the stock, so now it's like a looks like a clumpy like pigeon poo. I'm just kind of stirring it with um, a really sharp vegetable <laughs> vegetable knife. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know how, there's going to be like real pockets of like extreme chicken taste. Like, and there's going to be a lot of butter. The butter I'm using is like here. So I'll use this one here. So that'll be 250 grams. So that'll be one cup. And then I'm going to use like a little bit left of that to make it one and a half cups to add to that. Then we should be putting on. That's a lot of butter. A lot of butter. It's, it's on manual now for 40 minutes. You put the lid on properly and the thing is in the middle. Thank you, dear. I have it under control. I didn't have it under control. But hopefully things will be good in 40 minutes. Okay, the time has finished. Let's see. What she looks like. Ooh, steamy. Wow, there's a lot of butter there. It smells awesome. Oi, get down. Yeah, get down. I got professional advice from the wife saying it's good to go. The cabbage is all cooked through, which from what I'm told is an important step. It has to be <laughs> cooked through. But man, just look at all that butter. Now I'm just gonna cook up some sausages on a hot frying pan. Uh, in this household we use avocado oil. 
it's nicely lathered all through the pan. The sausages have been, are ready now to be cut up. I've cut one up already to put into the baby's bowl. He usually has two sausages. I like to cut them up into, what kind of shape are these? Um, what other shape these are? These are? The baby now has his helping of sausages, so I'm just gonna give him his cooked, buttered cabbage. There's a lot of fluid in this, so hopefully I could. Oh! He hasn't tried buttered cabbage yet, I don't think, so I don't know if he's gonna like it. I'm just shaking all the fluid off it because it's very, very buttery. Super buttery. One, two, whew. Still very hot. I guess keeping it warm, but keeping it warm, I think just means. Oops, I wasn't even filming there. Keeping it warm means still keeping it hot. You, you can see the steam coming off it. So that'll just rest there next to the eggs and puff pastry to cool down to eat. But that's essentially it. Pre-cooked sausages, buttered cabbage. Hopefully that's a win for the little boy and myself. And there's heaps of buttered cabbage left over, like nine cups. There's no way I could eat that in one sitting, especially with a tray of sausages. Hopefully that'll be a quick and easy meal for upcoming households. Bye.